Hi, my name is Matthew. Uh, I work at the Adelaide Convention Centre and an audio-visual technician. Uh, I got involved in the industry by a traineeship here at the Adelaide Convention Centre. I did it for a year and then uh, we've been here now for nearly six years. So that's um, how we sort of started. Um, before that, we were interested in a school in like, drama productions, uh, set up PA for school assemblies and things like that. Uh, my job role here, our main role is to set up vision equipment, so that includes projectors, um, vision switches, uh, little LCD monitors, uh, little PA systems for small meetings, uh, the conference setups, so, and lots of things like that. Um, our main tasks that we look after is vision switching, so that would be uh, like you say if you're at home watching the football, uh, the camera switching, and then we like roll DVDs, so we can't switch it from cameras to, to DVDs and back to cameras and, and things like that. So that's our main main task that we we do here. Um, our work environment, we have uh, different different room setups here. We have like small meeting rooms, um, tiered seatings, and those seats actually lift up and down. And in those rooms, we have like our conferences. So that will be uh, like a 12-hour day sitting in there watching, a, well not watching, working in a medical conference. And then we also have our, our bigger halls which have a main gala dinners. Um, the main employment for this role here at the Convention Centre is, is casual employment. We do so also have full-time supervisors and they have like a technical design team and they're also a full-time work here. Uh, what do I enjoy? Uh, I enjoy sort of uh, being put under, put under pressure. It sort of makes you uh, learn, you have to, you know, put under pressure, you learn things quicker. Um, so, so that's uh, the main enjoy here. Uh, you see lots of different medical conferences. Uh, no, not necessarily enjoy them, but you, you see and, and learn lots of different things that you wouldn't do if you sort of, and you don't realise actually what goes on in the world around the place. Uh, challenges uh, working with you know clients. You, you know, have to have a, a good personal skill set to do that. Um, you know, some clients you get real comfortable and, and relaxed, and then some you'll get you know they're up, you know uptight and want the event to be, be right, and they'll feel be on your back the whole time. So that's you know a major major challenge. Uh, some of the personal characteristics you need: uh, need well good time management. Uh, you know, most of the setups have to be done in a time frame. You know, have to be you know done on time. Uh, even during a conference in morning on like morning tea, it needs to be done. There might be a 15 minute turnaround. You might need stage resets and things like that. You know, actually need to be done. So you know it's, it's Need, need good time management. Uh, also, need, you know, you need to you know be well presented, look nice and tidy, um, things like that. Uh, training. I did a certificate three in live production theatre and events, uh, but you can go to TAFE do other training. And also, like we've also done dog and rigging courses and done like little on on the job training of equipment and things like that. Uh, future career paths. Uh, like here with the main vision switching things we do. Uh, we could go and you could go and work in TV, like big camera and things like that. Uh, we've got other, other people that are here that uh, work on concerts, uh, d shows at the entertainment centre, you know, for world touring events, so things like that. Uh, some advice I'd give you, you know, take lot, take opportunity to learn lots of things, ask people questions. Uh, that's probably the best best way to learn. Uh, if you're actually interested in them, make sure you like in school, you get involved in, say, your drama productions, like the technical side of it. Um, you know, there's things like that happen. Uh, lots of small theatre groups around the place, or even if you say if you fin finish school or looking to get into it, uh, lots of schools have like sort of decent sized theatres you can get involved in. Um, lo lots of little pubs and clubs have you know live bands and things like that. You know, you might be able to get your way into there and, and try and mix those bands. Um, you know, it's all ways of picking up skills and things like that. So even like organised like organisations like the Convention Centre here, you can organise work experience. So, you know, try and get you know ring up and talk to their, their training manager maybe, and things like that. So you know, it's probably take that you know learn lots of things on the way.